Yeah, any, yeah, some expression is fine. We're on. Yeah. I'll turn that down a little bit. Get a little background. Hey, gang, how we doing? How's everybody doing here? Thanks for having everybody. All right, so we're gonna shoot uh, a beauty shoot. Yeah. Uh, welcome everyone to the second show of Techniques, uh, presented by Find Your ID NYC. We are live on Facebook and YouTube every Thursday at 8 p.m., featuring different talent from the creative industry. And today our guest is Ricardo Andre, who has been working in photography for 15 years. Uh, shooting Essence Magazine, Victoria's Secret Models, and the New York Giants. Uh, Ricardo began his own firm seven years ago and aims to revolutionize the beauty standard in the industry. He is based in New York, but he still travels the world for his shoots from weddings in Jamaica to uh, family reunions in Ireland. And he also has an awesome wedding portfolio, so just make sure to check it out on his website or his social media at Ricardo Andre Studios after our show. And uh, welcome, Ricardo. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. How's everybody doing? Good? Yeah, we're all doing fine. Uh, we're so excited to uh, see your photo shoot. So I will let you begin. All right, cool. Um, appreciate you. All right, okay, a couple of stuff I want to go over. Uh, I personally like to shoot with the umbrella. I would not fully extend it. Because what happened with lights, if you lock this in, so it spreads out a little bit more. So I generally like to have it about half size off. So what happened, you start to get a really nice shine 
and it's so small that you can really focus just on a person's portraits. And it's probably one of my favorite light. Um, the second thing that I do also, the background is very important. So I have a second light here. If you can see, come on that door. Bring that computer for me. So this would be my second light here, all right? And what I'm doing with it, so I have a V flat that I'm working with. So it's shooting to that V flat. So it gives it a nice background. So it brings up portraits all the way out. Um, so come on this side. And then this side is not going to be light. Huh? I don't know. So there you go here. My, my her background is lit. So that's separate from her portrait. So that's really, so all behind her here, it's really going to really shine. Come back around. So what is the focus? She's the focus. She's the model here. But you want to make sure she has sort of like this array of light all around her portraits. So that brings out all the features. So the side light also, so you can be able to capture everything on her feature. So, so now she becomes the main idea here, right? So this is the slave. So once this is fired, all right, so my secondary soft light behind us didn't let her, right? And almost, I almost forgot. Please introduce yourself to the audience. Tell us where you're from. Hello, my name is Mamie Coroma, and I'm originally from Sierra Leone, but I am based in DC. She came out here just to shoot with us, gang. <laughs> Always special. All right. What I'm going to do also, when we're done with these portraits, I'm going to post them so you guys can see the shots. And if you have any questions, um, you can let me know also. And um, I'll try to answer it for you, right? Just some small thing I want to touch up on. When you're working with lights, you want to build up on the lights. So first you put your first light, which is my main light, which is my umbrella here, all right? So my first light, I'm going to test it out on her and see what I have. Do I like it? And then you bring your second light, which is your slave. And, you know, so if you, you can actually do a shit with four or five lights, depending on what you're trying to achieve. But first you build on the on, on what you're working with. So I'm gonna start off with just a single light here and see what I have. And then after that, I'm gonna add on the second light also, right? Very important. That way, if you have any mistake, you can always go back and fix the problem. But if you have four lights going on at all times, you don't know where your problem is coming from. So it's always important to build on, 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 on your light. So I see you build problem number one, problem number two, and then you can see the results, right? Okay, 
going to have us stand up. And um, you also want to check on the person. Are you the person? Sometimes is it is it more comfortable to is it more comfortable if they're standing or is they're more comfortable sitting? Because it's all about the models, what you're getting out of them, right? So I'm going to move this through here. Again, it's about building the light. I'm going to um, turn off the secondary light on her. Bring you guys a little closer. Right here. Um, let's light this background a little bit more. Um, right in the center here. Good. I'll take my first shot. Need a memory card, Jordan, please. Anybody have any questions for me? Uh, please just type it in, and I'll try to answer it as much as I can. Testing the light here. Good. Um, I like to set up my ISO about 100, when, especially when I'm working on external light. My f-stop, I'm going to be, I stay about f, f8, f and my shutter speed, I'm going to be about 160 of a, of a second, and um, just to test it out. Jordan, can you do me a favor and just look at this and make sure if I'm at a good angle like it was looking at me? Yeah, nice. Keep the chin down. Good. I'm not sure if you guys can see here. Um, so you see I'm getting a half shadow. No, that's that's not. Um, half shadow in this shot here. So it's only lighting one side. So that's what I mean by building up the shots. So I'm, I'm building that one side. Good. I like it. I'm happy with the shot. She's lit here. It's a little bit red. So I'm going to bring that temperature down a little bit, and I'm going to add that second light in that we talked about. Now, remember, that second light is reflecting on the white V-flat. There's no cover on it. There's no umbrella. There's no um, soft box because I want that light to its full extreme so it can really pop the back and, and really bring that nice natural white out. Um, so here's what happened on this shot, if you could notice. There's a question. There's a question right there. Been waiting to get into this. If you could notice, guys, on this, the white is falling out. So now it's going into her shot. The background light is not supposed to hit the model. It's supposed to lighten up the background. So what I'm gonna do is adjust that V flat. Um, so I'm gonna push it in more.
And again, I'm not even working with the model yet. I'm just setting up the light so that, that way I teach you guys in terms of like how to set up the light for the model. Um, I haven't really gone over how to make a pose, and, and that's 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 really goes into it also. Let's say you have a studio and you can't afford two lights. Um, um, you can work with a single light also, but that would be a whole different setup. Um, I personally like to work with two lights. It's more professional, and all the magazines like it because having a, a great background is not – I'd say if you look at all the magazine shots, it's all as clean. If you want a great background, you can do it without a background light, but professionally, you want to be able to go do a nice background light. Um, so the weather's nice. I would take the models outside if I can't have it too late. So again, good. So, so far so good, but on one side she's lit, on the other side she's not. So what I'm gonna do now, give me a favor, look at this computer, and just turn around for me. I'm gonna bring this light in. And remember, the umbrella is really soft, right? So it's not fully extended. And the reason why I want as much control, I wanna control that light as much as possible. So I want this just small enough. And all this brightness here going right into all her four portraits, right? So I'm just gonna move it to her center, but it's gonna go right above her, her nose so it gives you a butterfly. So it's really good for, for beauty. Aim it up and come a little closer here, right above her chin. Good. She's still right in the center. You guys with me? Um, you're going to find sometimes the reason why a lot of photographers sit down. If you don't want the shot blurry and you really want to stabilize the hands, so you can lock things in. And what happens is if I'm in front of the light, guess what? I'm affecting all this filter here. So if I'm shooting a here, I'm blocking my light. So it's gonna give me a different versus if I'm behind the light and I use a zoom lens perfectly. Come down with me, good. Come back to me, please. Nice. Fantastic. So look at the difference versus when I'm standing in front of the light versus when I'm when I'm here. You see, you see that shadow? How many inches away should you uh, good question? How far should I break from the it depends on what I'm looking for, right? Um I I personally like to be behind my lights. So, my, so the lights can do all the work for me. Versus if I'm here, I'm into the shot, right? I can be about a feet away if I want to hit the features, but I still want to block to her left, right? But if I want the whole portrait, I'm going to be sitting back here. So the umbrella is going to be in front of me. And I'm using, um, I'd say, my lens. I'm shooting about a 20, um, a 20 to 74 lens uh, with a 1.8 stop. So I can really zoom in here and hit her. Good. So the closer I get, the light goes in front of me, right? So now that changes everything too. Nice, beautiful. So now I'm happy with my light. So now I'm happy with my light, right? Now I'm gonna work with the models. So I want the left side 
And um, you're going to see stuff sometimes that inhibit a model when it crosses their hand, when they start causing their body. It's a little discomfort. So you got to make them feel comfortable to bring that natural comfortable out. And if a model don't trust you, you can't get a good shot. All right, so, so now I'm going to build that trust on it. I'm going to give it direction and tell exactly what I want. So we're going to start off. Keep the hands on the waist. I'm not shooting her body, but, but just have a hand on the waist. Give her something to hold on. Gives a lot of confidence to the model. All right, so now I like that shoulder. Turn it a little bit to the left for me. Good. And make the neck long. Look at that. I mean, now you can already see the shot, even before I shot it. And then now she's feeling a little more confident because so I've got a good direction and she knows that I'm trying to get a good shot for her. So now we're building that relationship now. Good. Good. Nice. Beautiful. Remember, gang, respect the light. Don't get in front of it. Respect the light. Let the light do its work for you and stay behind it. Good. Beautiful. Love. Good. Shift the hips. Here you go just from left to right. Nothing. And if she moved forward about one inch, it changed the whole light. So be careful how you move your model because your lighting might be completely different. All right? So just be mindful of that. Nice. Good. Nice. Beautiful. Right. Switch legs. One more time. Good. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Good. And you're also going to find sometimes when you're shooting somebody, they're staring right at you. They're staring at the camera. And as a model, you want to capture them doing what they do, which is modeling. So sometimes why Johnny give reference, I say to my models, don't shoot me, I shoot you. What I'm saying to them, I want you to feel beautiful and pose beautiful. And at the same time, kind of ignore that I'm there and give me like a small stare or glare. So she's going to look this way, and I'm just capturing this moment. Look down. Just bring that eye slowly to me. Good. You look away now. Nice. Switch, twist the body. Good. Nice. Fantastic. Good. Again. You have a question? Beautiful. Nice. You have a question? Um, for models to look uh, flattering, Here's what I did. If you notice, she was standing straight. And the minute that I do this, a slight rotation. You see how now it's all about her shoulders and her neck? Because there's a lining there, right? So if she's standing flat, so now you have nothing to go on. So you need more contrast. So if I do this, guess what? So now my jawline, the shoulders, it's a lot more elegant a little bit. So a slight little twist makes a world of a difference. And it gives her more options to go from left to right. So switch again. Good. And you see how she starts to stiffen this? So I want this loose. Loose arms. And just going from left to right. We're going to start out just rotating her from left to right. Let's go. One more time. Nice. Another tip too, just look down. Just relax the face and look down a little bit. Good. Beautiful, come back at me. It's almost like you wanna look left and you just stop for a second to look at me in the middle, right? And it's all good direction, right? As, as, more, uh, as much advice and direction you give your models, the more confident they're gonna feel, the more their personality is going to come out, and the better your shot's going to be. You know how some people are modeling? They look different from when, when the camera wasn't on them. Your, your goal is to get to that who they are, not who they're trying to be. You know, I'm like, hey, what's up? And the camera comes on, they agree with this. 
No, you kind of want to find that middle ground where you're catching the truth, right? So, and it's all about giving it a good direction. Now lift up the neck for a second. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. Turn. Come in. Good. All right. That's it. So we're going to do a different lighting setup, and uh, we're going to maybe bring a different model out, um, which is going to be a totally different lighting structure. So... Stay with me. We're good. I'm taking out the umbrella here. Um, so different lighting, right? So it's not about a soft box, but if you look, so this is the source of the light. The question. Um, you know, it's more in season. Um, you're asking if uh, the model outfit plays a role in the lighting setup. Um, it's a good question because if I'm shooting white and the model have red and they're really dark skin, it pops. It, um, so I like that. Um, but if the model have a white dress on and I'm shooting on white and she happened to be light skin, everything is just going to die in the background. So the preferably, you gotta look at contrast. Based on what color they're wearing, it determines what type of background you're gonna um, you're gonna use. Because the lighting that falls on red and black is different versus if it's on green or purple. Um, so sometimes it's, it's, it depends depends on the lighting, right? Um, so here I have a soapbox. I generally like to shoot males with this kind of lighting. Why? Because it's it's really it's more direct and it shows a lot more Sean Couture in the face. And with females, you always want to keep them beautiful, soft. But how how I'm gonna use this? Because I'm shooting a, a female model here. Um, I'm gonna use the soft box. Let's bring it down. Very interesting, right? Because where is my light? So it's coming from right in the center here. Okay. But as you notice, it's spread out. So right in the center of the light is going to go right, right above her nose. And the wings are expanding here, which gives her cheeks some really nice lighting. All right. So This is why it's a, it, I can, but I would never shoot a female with this sort of side light because it's way too strong, right? I would go above and shoot it this way. It's a lot more pretty, I find. And what the good thing about this is sharpness, right? Because it allows you to get some really good sharp, right into the eyes, the center of the light falls right into their nose, so you can get the sort of like that butterfly feeling, right? 
Um, I think, especially experienced model, someone asks, um, is it better to give direction to models uh, or have them just do freestyle? Um, I think control is, is important in any shoot you do. Um, and the photographer is responsible for everything. Um, if the makeup's too heavy, guess what? You, it's your fault. So if the model, and some models, you know, especially if they've been modeling for a while, they go into their own sort of style and they start to move fast. And not every photographer shoot fast. And sometimes if the model's moving fast, but I'm shooting slow, it's a contrast. So it's always important to have, to give instruction to the model how you want the shoots to come out, right? So yes, I do like to instruct model, but it doesn't mean you inhibit to how they to how they're how they're gonna style themselves, right? You just give an instruction to like where and place and how you want to pose and what the concept, and then you naturally let them go, right? Um, mistake models make when they're posing. Um, I think being fake. You ask someone, you know, if you said to them, I don't like a nice little blush, and they start to do a fake laugh, and it's gonna show in the picture. So what I say to them is, imagine something that, that makes you feel good, and then and then they'll naturally show in their face. It's more thinking about what you wanna shoot, right? So if you think about an experience, it's gonna show in your face versus like trying to fake laugh. So I think that kind of mistake you get, and angles too. Sometimes my model might think this is my best angle, but the lighting setup and where you're shooting them is not the best. So you kind of have to be the instructor in terms of instructing them, even if they're experienced. Don't be shy to to, to tell them, okay, this is what I'm looking for versus what they have in their head, right? Um, so my second model is not ready yet. So, wait, ready? Wait. Any questions, gang? How do you adapt this shit? Um, you know, it's all, you know, how do you adapt the shooting pace? Um, it's almost like riding a motorcycle. If you're resisting against it, then you have an accident. So you guys have to find your flow, right? The photographer is looking for the shot, but also the model have to feel comfortable, right? So here we go. She's here now. Um, All right, gang. All right, gang. This is Gio. She's from Spain. Introduce yourself. Tell us, everybody. Hi, how are you? I'm Gio from Colombia, Cartagena. It's a pleasure to be here. Beautiful. I want an accent like that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's where it gets tricky with the colors. Um, here's where it gets tricky. That color is a big contrast um, for my background. So guess what? I can't shoot her with that light above, right? So what I'm going to do is, and it's all trial and error, gang. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. And... So what I'm doing now, you see how this light falls right on the side of her? So I'm getting a nice contrast. I have the black to stop it. So now I'm gonna create a silhouette with a body. And I just thought about it creatively right on the spot, right? And I'm just adjusting what I have, right? Um, does jewelry affect shoots? Yeah, it does. If you have like gold jewelry and the light's going right at it, it's gonna clear a lot of glare. So, um, Depend on the stylus you're using. Just be mindful of that. Um, so 
So classic problem, the background is more is more lit. There's a lot lighter versus, um, you see the shot here? Everybody see it? See how the background is more lit than the front? So I'm going to bring up my light here. Beautiful. Fantastic. Love it. Nice, right there. Beautiful. Good. Nice, beautiful. Remember when I said to you guys about the side angle experience model? She does a lot of beauty. You know that she goes right into the side without me having to tell her. You see, you see the angles what I was talking about before. Now she turns to the side and make her necks long. And her movement is very slow. It's almost like she takes it in this sort of like silhouette. Um, her energy is great. You're right about that. Um, yeah, exactly. It's more of a seduce uh, movement. I mean, that's that would be an experienced model, what I'm talking about. And what you do is, and you just flow with the energy. Beautiful. Nice, fantastic, beautiful. Yeah. Um, help me out with the with the computer, Joe. I don't want to block them. Beautiful. Nice. 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 So I'm not doing the whole body. It just shift on this side a little bit. Good. Nice. Fantastic. Good. Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. So very important, even when you um even when you're shooting, uh, when you're doing beauty, um, it's I'm shooting beauty, but I, but you want the model to feel beautiful. So you still make it as if you're doing a whole body shoot. So she'll have heels on, fully dressed. She feels elegant. She's going to give you elegant, right? Just because you're doing beauty, you don't just like throw like us, a, 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 just a basic top. Just make sure everything is consistent. So as she moves, all right, so I want to point that out too. I'm still focusing on our face, but a whole body, she already knows. This. I love that. Very nice. Good. Changing the character. You see how she goes from like happy to sad and seductive and sensual. I mean, so many different elements she gives you within two or three shots. A lot of control of her face, right? Good, beautiful. I love it. I love it. Nice. Slight rotation again. To the left, please. Nice, beautiful. Nice. I like a little more expression with the feet. Back along. Um, she's holding everything in. Now I want something more out, sort of like more grace. Good, beautiful. Good, nice for me. Good. She's so tall and I'm so short. And as she start lifting her chin, I can't really get a full feature. So now I'm gonna bring her down so I can have a little more control over the shoe. All right. Good, beautiful. Love. Turn to me a little bit more, please. Nice. Nice. Fantastic. Chica Mata Mata. All right, my battery just ran out, gang. I got to put another battery in. Jill's going to talk to you guys while I go away. Hello, people. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Say 
something. I just can't dance because my English is not perfect, but I can dance with you. <laughs> so, but I can dance with you. <laughs> When did you start your modeling career? When I was um, 16 years old, I started my career. And I come, came to New York um, one year ago. Yeah, but I have like four years in doing modeling. Si, hablo español, que no hablo español por ahí. What type of um, when I feel myself, like when I, when you are free, you can be created, you can be you. That's my fun. I don't know. What is the question in English? How do you think you grow as a mom? How do you grow as a model? Like, what you gotta work on? Yeah. You gotta work very hard, baby. <laughs> what's, what's your favorite shoot? What's your favorite shoot that's far? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I, I'm so worried. <laughs> All right, she pleased the fifth. All right. Uh, let's get back into it. Uh, again. Uh, I want something out of a character. Um, this is like so control, and I want her to lose control a little bit just to challenge her. So let's go on with some like crazy expressions. You know what I mean? Can we do that? Uh, just try different things. And when you do that, you get so much more out of the model. Now she's in a comfort zone. She's giving me a lot of beauty. Uh, but I want her to push her uh, out of her envelope and get some different expression out of her. Right? Uh, so and listen, it's all digital. If you don't like the shot, guess what? You can just... You know, shoot another one. So try different things. So I want something more expression. Let's go. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Fantastic. Good. Back to me now. Rotate to me. There you go. Again. More crazy, more crazy, crazy, more crazy. <laughs> I like that. There you go. There you go. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I like that. You're beautiful. So, nice. Again, again, I like that screen. That's it. Beautiful. Again. Good. All right. Um, it depends on what you want to express. Um, generally, with models, you want them to appear tall. Um, so when you have the kneeling, um, if you're doing a beach, yeah, it makes sense. But if you're in a studio like this, and mostly you're selling the clothes, the clients want, you know, I'm not a big fan of kneeling. Or I like the stool, but I'm not a big fan of kneeling on the floor because it takes away from the models. Um, 